does the risk of riding a bike outweigh the reward? What is up? Welcome back to the channel. Man, I got a great, great video for you. I'm not gonna waste any time getting started. The purpose of this channel is to always look out for my riders and put you guys in the best possible situations so you can succeed. Also, I can save you a little bit of money. So without further delay, man, let's get money. Yes, sir, definitely about to go ham on the video. A Little bit of business first. If you guys like the content, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hey, also, man, real important, don't forget to hit that notification bell so you can see when my next videos are uploading and ready to rock and roll all right fellas so let's get it going unfortunately this is gonna happen to each and every one of you out there I don't care what type of motorcycle you have I don't care how new or how old it is so let me set the scenario up for you real quick um, it's about 2 30 in the morning you are at an event it is going great it is time to go you come outside and everything's all ready to go you're gonna start your motorcycle up you hit that you guys hear the fuel injector starts up, then you see the radio engaged, and you're like, okay, let me get out of here. You're gonna go ahead and start that bike. You get the dreaded click of death right there. All right, let me show you how to get out of this situation. I'm gonna save you time, I'm gonna save you money, but more importantly, I'm gonna save you mental anguish. Let's get it moving. All right, fellas, and 99% of the time when you have this situation, it is a bad battery. A bad motorcycle battery is like an X. It always shows up at the wrong time. But I'm gonna show you guys how to get out of this situation. So what we got here, guys, is we're gonna rock with the Astro Jump Starter right here. It is a great, great addition that you need to add to your toolbox. Fellas can see it right here, and I'm gonna show you how this thing operates. We have taken the battery all off. I've got everything all set and ready to go. Everything's all exposed. So we're gonna give it a jump start. I'm gonna show you how to operate this jump starter right here, the Astro Jump Starter. I'm gonna put it in the description below so you guys can see where I got it from. I think it was only like $59.99. So I told you I'm gonna save you a lot of money and I'm gonna also save you time. But more importantly, man, I'm gonna save your mental state, man. So let's get it going. So all you gotta do, you guys see, it has a plug right here that you just plug in and then you're gonna put that in the wall for the USB to get it charged up. I've already charged everything up and ready to go. And then I'm just gonna show you, on the side right here, it's got that slot that goes back and forth. That's where we're gonna put in our jumper. And let me show you what the jumper looks like. And this is all it is. These are gonna to attach to the terminals of your battery right here. We're gonna stick this inside of here right quick. So let me go ahead and pop that baby in there. See how it all attaches in there, nice and smooth. Everything is ready to go. I'm gonna go ahead and attach it to the battery. We're gonna jump start this and see if it indeed is the battery. All right, so I've got everything all attached. As you see, I've already hit the orange button right there, which for the boost. So let's go ahead and do it live and see if it's gonna work. So far, so good. I hear the fuel injector. The radio is engaged. So let's go ahead and see if it'll start. Oh my God, as you see right there, fellas, the bike started up with just one shot right there. And just like that, I just saved you guys about $200 because they tax your ass when you have to get a bike towed, especially if it's late at night, they're gonna tax you. Also, if you take your bike to a Harley dealership or technician, it's gonna be 75 to $100 an hour for the manual labor. Also, they're gonna charge you for the diagnostics. You did the diagnostics yourself. You just saved yourself a shitload of money, all right? We know it's the battery. Let me get a fresh battery in here. Let's get money. We have got the battery in looking really, really good. Everything's all connected. So let's go ahead and give her a start up and see if she is going. Here we go. Like money, it is just like money like that. So really glad to get that done, guys. Hopefully you learned something from this and we can save you some money like that. But 99% of the time, it is usually the battery going on that jumper box will save you. I'm gonna see if I can get a quick ride. Let me sew this bike back up and see if we can get on the road. I am so pumped up for today's part of the video. 
Um, guys, remember when I was out riding today, my hands were freaking freezing. It was crazy out there. So I had to come up with a plan. I'm gonna try to keep riding and give you guys the great content. So I had to address these hands. So I hooked up with Ed Van Blatt and I got a great upgrade that I wanna show you. It is for Harley Davidson Tour Models, also for soft tails. So let me show you what I got in the mail. And you guys see those sweet color matched hand guards. I'm gonna flip them all the way around. You can see that. These are dual purpose hand guards. Not only will they keep my hands warm and shaded from all sorts of debris, but I can take these three slits out of here, you see right there, and they will open up and keep things vented so I can ride with these all year long. Plus, they look badass. So we're gonna start with the brake side first, and I'm gonna pull this out real quick. Oh, shout out to Ed Van Black, got the cool stickers in the mail, so I'm gonna stick those on too. So let's get this thing moving and grooving. So here's your bracket right here, fellas, you can see the bracket. And all we're gonna do is I'm gonna flip this over and I'm gonna turn this upside, we're gonna turn that so it is facing up on the handguard. So you guys see right there, it is facing up on the handguard right there up top. So then I'm gonna take the two screws with the washers right here. You guys see the washers on top and I'm just gonna put the screws right in. I'll be right back. You see right there, the bracket is on. The lip is facing upwards. So now I'm gonna remove the mirror from my motorcycle. But fellas, I put a little bit of blue Loctite on there, just a drip, just so these babies can catch up there nice and tight. You don't need a lot, just a little tip of it. So now I am going to remove the mirror from my bike. And all I'm gonna do, in my case, I need a half inch wrench right here. Guys, you have to, everything's a little different, so you have to get the wrench according to your set. Mine's is a half inch. All right, so we are up close and personal on the bike. You guys see, I took the mirror off. So I'm gonna bring in the hand guard and I'm gonna put that lip, and that's why we put that bracket and that lip is up. I'm gonna put it right over the top of the mirror hole, right where it's at right there. You guys see how that fits right there? Easy fit in there. So now I'm gonna go ahead and grab my mirror and all I'm gonna do is shoot that mirror back through that hole. And you guys see it is starting to come to life already. Yes, sir, and I am in the home stretch right now. But what I'm doing, I've already ran the screw up, but not all the way up yet. I'm gonna make my quick adjustments. First, I'm gonna adjust my mirror accordingly to where it should be so I can see great. Then also I'm gonna position and I'm gonna bow that out right there so that my hand, when I engage the brake, it does not interfere with the hand guard. So everything looks really good right there. You guys see I'm engaging the brake. I am nowhere near that hand guard right there, so that is a good position. Ready to rumble right here. You see the lady in red, AKA the body snatcher. Guys, she is looking so crispy right now. You know how you go to the bank and you get those fresh $100 bills and they count them out right to you on the counter. That is the lady in red right there. Gotta give a huge shout out to Advent Black for copping, letting me cop the great man color matched and you guys can see the color is absolutely perfect on there and i am liking the black slits right there it gives a nice little feel to it uh one thing that i'm really feeling fellas is you see the clock works right there with the red logo and how that plays off the red and everything it's just the little things that mean so much it is a great day it's about 32 degrees i'm freezing so what better time to see if these things work let's get out here let's get that money Let's get a cold start as we always do on the channel. Oh my God, after we put that fresh battery in, everything sounds 
so amazing. So we're gonna put these color matched hand guards to the test today and see how they work. All right, where are all my NFLers at right now? Oh, like my man Dak Prescott from the Cowboys quarterback would say, here we go. <laughs> The hand grips are so good. So far, I am feeling pretty good. You fellas enjoy uh, that jumper. You guys definitely need to get that in your saddlebag. It will save your ass. Um, let me know in the comments below if you found that helpful. Now my hands are starting to actually get pretty cold right now. And it is not because of the guards. It is just because I've got on a thin set of gloves. Um, and it's pretty fucking cold out here. That's, that's really what it is. So the hand guards get an A plus from me. If I had on insulated gloves like I was supposed to, I'd be fine. So I'm gonna have to do a quick pit stop. We're gonna change gloves, jump back on the road. All right, man, yes, sir. We're gonna hit the road back again. But before I do, we're gonna ask a question to all of you out there. We're gonna talk about it on the ride. Does the risk of riding a bike outweigh the reward? I am coming to you as always, live and direct. Oh, wait, it is time to get into the topic of the day and I think it is a great topic to talk about uh, but first I'm coming into a serious curve man I'm about to open this baby up real quick let's get that sit back relax listen to that engine <laughs> Does the reward of riding a bike outweigh the risk? All right, so let me set the table for you real quick. What I'm asking you fellas, and let me throw some facts out first. A huge majority of accidents that happen with bikers is not our fault. It is usually the motorist or whoever it is in the situation. That alone lets you know that there is over a 75% chance that something is gonna happen to us and it is not gonna be our fault. Another thing is that when something does happen, the person who hits you is usually gonna walk up to you and say, oh my God, I'm sorry I just hit you, I didn't see you. Mind you, they're gonna walk up to you. You're gonna be laid out on the ground your bike is in shambles. Your health now is at risk. You don't know if you're gonna come back. You don't know what's broken. You don't know what's the long-term effect of your injuries. Your bike is gonna cost thousands of dollars. You're gonna have to deal with their insurance company because they're gonna not try to pay you because of your injuries. They're gonna try to lowball you and give you the worst that they can give you. Does the reward of riding a bike and getting out on the open road and being a wild, rebellious rider, does that outweigh the risk of somebody taking you out in like two seconds, man? I'm gonna give you my take in a minute, 
but I'm gonna get some scenic motorcycle rides in real quick. You know, that's what we known for. Let's get money back. <laughs> topic right here guys let me know what you think but I'm about to give you my take on it now I am a motorcyclist this is what I do some people like kayaking some people like fishing some people like mountain climbing I'm a biker this is what I do this is what you do the reward is going to always outweigh the risk because I am a biker at heart. This is what I do. There are many ways you can die, you can get fatally injured. If something is gonna happen to me, it is gonna happen to me doing something that I absolutely love. I don't know about you fellas out there, but that's my take on it. I am so interested to know what you guys think about this topic.